New York police hauled away an eighth package similar to all the others addressed to actor Robert De Niro and delivered to the building where his restaurant is located. Then two more found in postal facilities in Delaware, both addressed to former Vice President Joe Biden. That brings the number of virtually identical packages to 10, with two of them addressed to Congresswoman Maxine Waters. Investigators say they now believe all were sent through the mail, including the one found yesterday that was delivered by courier to CNN's Manhattan headquarters, but mailed to an off-site screening facility. Officials say some were postmarked. That's important evidence suggesting that at least some may have been mailed from the same state, Florida. Investigators are now working to narrow down which post office there was the first to handle them, looking tonight at a mail facility north of Miami. At the FBI lab outside Washington, an evidence windfall, because it's extremely unusual to have so many intact devices in a bombing investigation. Only one found Monday in the mailbox of George Soros was damaged. Police conducted a controlled detonation to render that one safe. Investigators say all found so far appear to be made with one-inch diameter PVC plastic pipe like this, capped at the ends and filled with explosive powder. Broken glass was added to act as shrapnel. Taped to the side, an electrical circuit, apparently a timer, though its exact function isn't yet understood. Nor is it clear what was supposed to set the packages off. Officials say they found no wires attached to the envelopes, for example, that would trigger the bombs when the packages were opened. None of the bombs have gone off, and investigators say they now believe some could not have exploded. But it's unknown tonight if they were made to be convincing hoaxes to cause fear or if the bomb maker's design was simply flawed. But first responders are treating them all as potentially dangerous. We have to treat them as, as uh, live devices. Uh, this is a protocol that our bomb squad people use, and it keeps everybody safe. If you were the bomb squad detective, how would you treat it? FBI lab analysts are now taking the bombs apart bit by bit. Everything that went into them is a potential clue.